OtterBox.com was able to send us their newest product, the Commuter TL, for your iPhone 3G and 3GS. Hope you guys enjoy this hands-on review. This is EV Macintosh Tips. Stay tuned. Alright guys, well here you see the actual commuter TL case and the iPhone 3GS side by side. Let's go into the packaging and then right into the review with the hands-on review with the iPhone. On the packaging, very basic but yet pleasing to the eye packaging. As you see, it's showing that it is compatible with the iPhone 3G and the 3GS. On the side here you see you have the commuter TL logo and then on the ridge here you're going to find that they actually had a nice textured graphic which is the actual same texture that you're going to find on the side of the case which I'll show you once we open it up. On the back you're going to find just an open iPhone um, picture and then some great features you're going to find about this case which I'll go into. Alright, so let's go open this case up and stick this device on the phone. So as you guys know, this is one of the three great cases that OtterBox have sent me which I've reviewed in the past. Um, the first case I reviewed was an actual iPod Touch case. It was their Fender case. The second one was their, uh, their Impact silicone case for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. And this is their third one, the Commuter TL case for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. And next week, I'll be reviewing the Commuter case, just the regular Commuter case for the iPhone uh, 3G and 3GS. Um, so you guys stay tuned for those. And of course, click those annotations right there below um, to, click, to check any of those videos out um, that I've done in the past for OtterBox. All right, going right into the case. As you see, you're going to get a two-part case here. Guys, it's one, a silicone inlay, and two, it's a hard plastic spine uh, exterior kind of guard on the case. So let's go ahead and take this apart here, and I'll show you what you're going to get with this case. So here you have a nice booklet, including your screen guard, your um, chamois, and of course an installation card. This is not anti-glare, but uh, Autobot screen guards are very nice. They're very clear and they're, they're very scratch resistant. So Autobox, good job on making good screen guard. And here you're gonna find on the iPhone, it's an iPhone book. It's actually an installation instructions on how to install the screen guard and how to install the case. So let's go into sticking this on that and get into this hands-on review. Like I said before guys, it's a two part case. Let's go ahead and take this apart. This one is the silicone part. It's just, just first impressions. Hands on, it's very, very soft silicone you're going to get with the, with, uh, the OtterBox products. All their silicone that I've had my hands on so far are very, very soft uh, to, the, to the touch. And on the side here, you're going to actually see that it's, it's two different levels. This one is actually a softer, and this one you're going to find is actually a textured. And then, of course, on the inside, it's the same texture as the, in, as the uh, back, that soft silicone so you don't have to worry about your phone getting scratched which is very important that's why people put cases on their phone duh right so on the top and the bottom you're going to find that you're going to have the port covers for the iPhone for the earphone jack and also for your iPhone cable input needs there and we'll see how that lines up to the case once you get it on there the second part of the case is going to be kind of your spine of the case this is going to be for setting on the table, for sliding, uh, for dropping, any anything that has to do with heavy duty um, kind of roughness on your device, this is what is going to guard your device. This is mainly for scratches, uh, for grip. This here is, is what's going to give you the, the most protection. Okay. Um, as you're going to see, you're going to find an opening for your earphone jack and sleep button and down below the devices and of course your speaker holes there and we'll see how it lines up on the device once you get it on and then you're gonna find your otter box is actually in engraved inside there with a nice transparent on top of the translucent textured here so it gives you a little bit of a textured on, on your device but most of the grip was gonna come right here um, before we stick this on I'm gonna talk about the reinforced walls here as you know in the impact case that I reviewed last week for otter box uh, the big thing that they um, were kind of produced here in this case was their their reinforced corners that you're going to get on the case. Um, this case doesn't have the reinforced corners but it does have the reinforced walls which you're going to find here so it's going to give you more support wrapping around the device which is good um, so hopefully you don't have a lot of play on that flipping silicone whenever you're flipping through your uh, pages and your apps so that's very smart. Okay, Let's go ahead and stick this on device. Just sliding it in um, 
the only thing I'm worried about so far is this very, very thin silicone lip right here. It's, it's almost thinner like a rubber band. Um, hopefully that doesn't tear or get caught up in that hard plastic case once that gets wrapped around there. Line up our ports and stick those in them. And we'll get to the actual spine of the case once we get this lined up. So, so far it fits quite well. It does, it, it, I mean it fits, it fits really well. It, it fits about the same as, as this case. And it does give you that added protection. It does feel thinner than the Ampeg case, I, I can tell. But you do going to have this ad protection. Uh, it does feel thinner. This is going to be open, which is actually uh, going to expose that Apple logo. But don't worry, it'll be protected by um, the outer shell. The camera hole lines up quite well. Sleep button is actually um, popped out. You're going to have a little bit of silver bezel exposed on the bottom, but that should be covered up by the external shell. And of course, you get your speaker holes here. And then that added. The added protection on the sides here, as you see, that's that textured, that textured element that you're going to find on the sides of the case for that extra grip whenever you have the device in your hand. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put the outside of the shell on. The outside of the shell is, 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 like I said before, the spine of the case. This is what's going to add you the most strength to the case and kind of make the case as one once you get the case, this case on that case. Um, it's very flexible here, but yet very durable when pushing down in your hand, um, so, which is what is going to be uh, most importantly when it's on your device. Um, so far, the only thing I'm worried about is it going to be actually that little piece of silicone there that looks like a rubber band, but it's actually going to be covered up once you get the case on. So I'm not worried about that anymore. And you're actually going to have to kind of rig this um, and pull it up. And, and kind of flex it as you put and wrap it around the case. So very flexible plastic there. Let's go ahead and make sure everything's lined up quite well. Sleep button lines up perfectly. Camera holes, man, that's, it doesn't get any better than that, guys. That's lined up right there. You still have a piece of plastic reinforced between your actual silicone port cover and the camera holes there. The speaker, not the camera hole, sorry, but your speaker outputs there. Um, so that's that's nice and exposed, and then of course you have a nice opening here. You're not going to find a lot of play there. Like I said before, it has those that reinforced side bezel there, and you're not going to find a lot of play in the side here when you're flipping through your apps. Unlike the Impact case, that's one thing that they did improve on in this Commuter TL case, which I'm very pleased with. On the back, you're going to find that that Apple logo is nice and protected, and still, guys, it shows that Apple logo so clear. <laughs> wow, so clear you actually see pictures. It's, it's as a mirror. You can actually see the pictures behind me. Uh, that's actually Albert Einstein. So that's that, that shows you that that's, that's the clarity of that. Um, here you're going to find the camera holes nice and lined up. You still, it still has that chrome bezel exposed around the camera hole. Everything lines up nicely in there. I'm really loving these ports, guys, for dust, water, dirt, anything. Just stuff in your pockets that you can get in the device and just make it uh, screwy uh, or lose connections, whether it be your... Uh, charge or for your earphone jack. Um, sleep button, very easy to access. Volume rocker, very easy to access. And your vibrate switch is quite open. And again, very easy to access. I'm really liking this texture you're going to find on the side of the case. And it kind of gives you an added feel. And not only feels good in your hand, but it's actually going to give you an added grip. When, whenever you're picking it up and holding the device in your hand and flipping through your apps. Um, as for of putting it on the table, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slide a little bit. You're not going to have it as a grip, kind of like in this impact case. You, it's going to grip to the table because it's full silicone. But the good thing about that, guys, is you're going to have the phone in your pocket the more you are going to have on the, the device on the table. So you got to think, is this going to be easy to slide on a pocket? Yes, it's going to be very easy to slide on your pocket because it's 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 sleek, it's plastic, and it's got that nice uh, translucent texture on the back, um, so it gives you that added grip. But at the same time, it's gonna be easy for you to, to pull it out of your pocket, um, and it will slide a little bit on the table. But you know that's one thing you don't really have to worry about. But anyways, guys, I like how it overlaps here in the front. I know this video is a bit long, but I'm, I'm really loving this case. The spine here overlaps to give you that added translucent kind of look and feel to the case. But yeah, that's just a basic overview. I'm really liking the case. So far, it, it feels great in my hand. I can tell it's going to uh, put a lot of added protection 
on the device and I feel safe about having this on my, on my phone. Anyways guys, this has been EB Macintosh Tips. Hope you've enjoyed this hands-on review over the commuter TL case from otterbox.com. You guys go and check out their website, all the links in the description. And of course, go check out the new macintoshtips.com. We just revamped the whole site. And of course, check out the blog specifically for this case in the link to the right. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned.